Today I've got a video on my Galaxy Note 2 that I've just got uh, recently, which is a very, very cool phone. It is uh, quite massive, actually. If you uh, compare it to like a S4 right there, um, so you can kind of see a comparison here. It's a very, very big phone. Um, but today, what I want to show you guys is um, how to get into stock Android recovery on your Galaxy Note 2 and then show you what some of the features are in there. You can also use this same exact method to get into uh, custom recovery if you have one of those installed. So what it's going to be is from the powered off state. So we're going to go ahead and power off our device. Alright, there we go. Note 2 is powering off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your little button on the side right here and you're going to hold volume up and then you're going to take uh, your home button right there so we're going to hold volume up, we're going to hold home and then we're going to hold power and up by my hand here you're going to see in the corner should see a flash and I just keep holding them all three and you didn't see a flash but that's okay um, and this is what stock Android recovery looks okay, like. Okay so here we go um, Basically how you navigate this is with your volume up and down the sides and then you use power to select what you want. Um, so the first thing that's highlighted up here is just uh, reboot system. So if you want to get back out of it, you can just hit that and go ahead and do it. The next option is apply update from ADB. So this is if you hook your computer, your phone up to your computer, you can uh, select that and you can do an update through your computer. A little more steps involved than just that, but that's the concept of it. Uh, here you go, apply update from external storage. So if you've downloaded an update for, to your SD card, you can also apply that from here. And then well, down here in the bottom, you also have apply update from cache partition. Um, this is where your update gets downloaded normally. If you have take an OTA update, it gets downloaded to cache. And so if you have one sitting there, you can come in here and you can force this update by using this feature. Um, I'm going to go up one here and this is wipe cache partition. Um, this wipes off uh, and it sometimes makes your program run a little faster if you wipe this. Um, it also may go through Android is upgrading when you reboot. Um, so that's all normal things you can do. And then the last feature you have is wipe data factory reset. And what this does for you is wipes the phone back to stock um, everything back to exactly how it was when you got it from Verizon. This is a Verizon model. But basically stock Android recovery works exactly the same um, on almost every device. It looks almost exactly like this too. The difference is how you get into Android recovery is varies per manufacturer normally. Um, so there you go. That is how to get into recovery and a little bit of what the features are. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and reboot. So there you go, that's it. Just a little thing, how to get into uh, Android recovery on the Galaxy Note 2. Um, please stay tuned guys, I'm gonna be have a whole bunch more videos on the Note 2 here on how to root it, how to get um, custom recovery installed, and all those goodies, just like I do in any of my phones. So as always guys, please check me out right up here at the top at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, over there. You might want to do that right now. I'm doing a giveaway, so uh, check that out also. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.